We are back with another Tokyo Dragons franchise video, and yes, we tied yesterday against against the Giants. This is the dumbest thing ever. I hate it. I'll never stop expressing it. But Austin Eckler is injured, and he's out for six weeks. So we're going to put Lightning McQueen in at running back, which a lot of you requested. But also, Odron Morton seems fine. Okay, he dislocated his shoulder in the last game. He was out for the game. He's fine, so I don't have to worry about him too much. And McQueen, here's the thing though. If McQueen ends up being a better back than Austin Eckler, what do I do with Austin Eckler? Because Mikel isn't even a bad back. He was actually doing pretty good. The rookie, Mikel was doing very nicely. We'll put him at two. And then Woods, I'll put Woods at the three here and I'll have Jojo Butler. No, Morton's in the slot. So Woods is going to be three. Butler is going to be the three. Woods is going to be the four over Puka Nakua because Puka Nakua really does nothing. And we'll go from there. McQueen is going to be the third string for now. And this is what we got overall. Of course, um, our starting DB, Deshaun Casey is out. But Lightning McQueen is going to be the starting running back. And we'll see how we do from there. We're one, two, and one. Let's just say one and three because a tie counts as a loss. I would rather have a loss than a tie. Why are ties a thing? Imagine if you paid hundreds of dollars to go to an NFL game and they and you wasted five hours, like four to five hours of your time, you know, getting to the game, getting settled in, watching the game, leaving the game. Five hours of your time, hundreds of dollars on a ticket for the game to be a tie. You know how pissed I would be? I would be livid. I would demand my money back. What a, what a lame way for a game to end. But we're going to be facing CJ Stroud and the Texans with Lightning McQueen. Not going to really waste any time here other than upgrade players, of course. Tom Thomas and Stetson Bennett is still on our team? Really? Didn't even know that. All right. Anyways, let's face off against the Texans here at their home and just move into it. First and 10. What do we got here? It's going to be a run to Damian Pierce. Airport lane, dude. <laughs> First and 10. Second down and three. What are we going to have here? To the outside. You got to jump or do something, Connor Grant. No, that's Gabe German, the rookie. First and 10. And first and 10. Dude, dude. Am I seeing this right? Let's look at this replay. Look at Gabe German here. And like, look at this. Look at Gabe German and Eric Carrington. <laughs> are you sure you're NFL players? Look how stupid you look. Oh my God. Third down and two. They're not going to be running the ball, which is surprising. And nice coverage by Jonathan Abram. Fourth and two. Will they go for this? They will not. Fourth and two on the field goal. It is up right down the middle. Three nothing start for the Texans. First and ten. We're going to have McQueen going for a route, but Y is going to be wide open. And that's going to be Jerron Morton with the speed up the field. Jerron Morton completely flipping the field. Stalker one for one, 34 yards. I think Devin McQueen is going to work really well on screens here with this speed. Nice pancake block by the offensive lineman. And that burst of speed there was really helpful. First and ten. First and ten, giving Devin McQueen the ball here with the speed. And CJ Mosley is going to catch him. Second and six. Second down and six. Going to use Clifton Stalker's speed because I barely ever use it. Stalker up the field. Stalker rushing touchdown. For those of you guys saying it's cheesy, I didn't rush one time with Stalker in the previous video. Clifton Stalker rushing touchdown. First and ten. What do we have here? To the outside. Dude, DJ Reed. At least, like, try to fight the ball out. Michael Pierce is injured. Second down and three. It's not going to be a run play. I bit on it. Over the top. Eric Carrington is so slow, dude. First and ten. Third and four. Playing underneath for this team. What do we have? Going over the middle and getting that cut block is going to be DJ Reed. First and goal. First and goal. It's going to be a read option. I completely bit on it. And I love how Adrian Amos stood there with his thumb up his ass. Touchdown, CJ Stroud. First and 10 for Devin McQueen here on the handoff. McQueen with a great block up the field. The burst of speed is really giving us like an extra five yards whenever we get those openings. First and 10. Second and 10. Going to give this to McQueen here. What is my left tackle doing? Look at my left tackle. Let's look at this replay real quick. Look at my left tackle. EA says they fix blocking. It's a lie. Look at him. Look at him. Is this Taylor Decker? Who is it? No, Joel Batonio. A 93 overall left tackle. What the hell are you doing? Third and 13. Yes, I'm running a screen. It worked very well last time. Get the blocks. Move, offensive lineman. I know you're supposed to get the blocks. I'm supposed to follow behind. 
But I kept bumping into him. First and 10. That screen actually worked really well. Third down and eight. Going to be looking for Jojo Butler if I can have him. If you can throw with anticipation. That's a good play by the defense. Didn't think he was going to follow up with him. Fourth and eight. Uh, I'm going to go for this. We're on basically our... our I mean, we're on our own 49. We're basically on the 50. I'm not going to punt here. I think I can get this. Fourth down and eight. Going to be looking for Morton. I have Morton over the middle. Morton, hold on. Thank you. First and 10 for Clifton Stalker. Third down and 10. Let's see who we're going to have here. I think I'm going to take Y if that's possible. Another great play by the defense. It was locked up. I didn't want to back up too far. I'll let Eddie Eaton kick the field goal and tie up this game. Yeah, I know I didn't really make the right read there. It should have been a pick. I think I just shanked that too. No, I didn't. Because Eddie Eaton's a god. 10 to 10 against the Texans. Second down and four for the Texans. Immediately beating. Dude, David Chasen low key sucks. He is awful in man coverage. First and 10. First and 10 for the Texans. It's going to be play action here. I got the swim. Didn't get off in time. No way. No way. First and 10. What are we going to have to the outside? Where is David Chasen? No, that's Quinton Lake. Quinton Lake, why are you in the game? You suck. First and 10. What are we going to have? It's going to be a check down to Damian Pierce. That was my zone. I'll take blame for that. First and 10. Third and five for the Texans. Where are they going to go? Right over the middle. Nice. Where were you, Eric Carrington? Your zone was the middle. I was covering the tight end. Nice, dude. First and 10. I'm going to use Stalker's speed. Like, if I have a chance to run it, I'll run it all day. Clifton Stalker, huge gain. Two rushes, 40 yards, and a touchdown. Third and four, they're pressing on Amari Cooper. He doesn't get off. I may have Dean Towns over the top. Dean Towns drops the pass. Fourth and four, guess what? I'm going for it. I'm on my opponent's 50 again. Fourth and four, going to look for JoJo Butler. I'm actually going to have Jerron Morton wide open underneath. Don't even need a juke. First and 10. First and 10, going to give it here to McQueen. McQueen right up the middle on the read option. First and 10. First and 10, let's see where they go. They're running the zone, so that's going to be wide open underneath is going to be Jerron Morton, first and 10. First down and 10, let's see what we have here. That's going to be, that should be open. Oh my God, that scared the living crap out of me that zero was right there. He literally followed and ran the route for Jerron Morton. Still got the ball off, touchdown, Jerron Morton right before half. Second down and 10, immediately going to the corner. Who was that in coverage? Kobe Durant, first and 10, they're in field goal range. First and 10, it is up, it is good. Right down the middle, the Texans are going to take the lead right before half. Devin McQueen on the return. Devin McQueen right up the middle. Devin McQueen is going to have his second touchdown, kick return touchdown on the year. ka -chow, baby! Right at the opening of the second half. Devin McQueen, first and 10, sending a blitz right up the middle. Jonathan Abram, safety sack on CJ Stroud, second and 17. Third down and eight. Let's see what we got here. Don't let them go underneath. Oh, Connor Graham didn't get there in time. First and 10. Second down and 10, sending a blitz. Their entire offensive line didn't block, maybe because it's a screen. And DJ Reed gets thrown off like it's nothing. First and 10. Third down and four. They're not going to be running the ball, which is a bit surprising. Going underneath. Fourth and four. Probably going to take their field goal here. DJ Reed, I don't know why you're celebrating. It was a throwaway. It is up and it is wide left. 24-20 remains are scored with prime field positioning. Second down and four. Left guard, get that block. Thank you, Devin McQueen. Another first and 10. First and 10. Let's see what we got. Running play action here. Maybe X, or maybe I could just take off with Stalker. Stalker up the field, tiptoeing down the sideline. Going to sl slide out of bounds there. First and 10. First and 10, running play action once again. Worked very well the first time. B is going to be wide open here. It's going to be Jerron Morton with his second touchdown on the day. And we're pulling away from the Texans here. 31 to 20. Second down and nine. It's going to be another Damian Pierce run. He's going to have a huge lane. Just cut block him. I know he'll truck us if we don't. First and 10. First and 10, sending a huge blitz for Damian Pierce, and it's going to get in there. Eric Carrington with the tackle for a loss. Second and 13. Third and 13. Let's see what we have here. It's going to be a screen to the outside. I'm all over it with Connor Graham. Fourth and 10 for the Texans. First and 10, McQueen on the stretch. Go up the middle here. McQueen with the burst of speed. Second and inches. We'll run that again. Second and inches, running it again with McQueen, who gets great blocks once again to the outside. McQueen with the speed. 
He is great on stretches, and he is also great on screens. First and 10. First and 10, going to be looking for Amari Cooper. He's not going to be there. McQueen might be there. Step up. I, I That was a bad read, but thank God I switched on and stepped up. First and 10 for McQueen. First and 10, running play action with McQueen. Where's the blocking? Was that a blitz? Will Anderson Jr. with the sack. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. Where was the blocking on Will Anderson? No blocking. No blocking. My bad. Correction. Nobody was blocking at all on Will Anderson. He just walked through. Nice. Third and 17. Going to run a screen here with McQueen. Oh, I have it for sure. Go get up the field. Thank you, offensive lineman. He actually gave me that block. I was worried he wasn't going to get there in time. Tom Thomas with that block, baby. McQueen, first and 10. First and 10. Got to get that block to the outside tight end. He did. Cut it up the middle. McQueen it gets trucked, but second and one. Let's hurry up and run that again, actually. Third down and four. Let's see what we're going to have. Maybe in the back of the corner. Bad throw. Under pressure. Fourth and four. No reason to get greedy here. I'll just take my field goal. Eddie Eaton puts it up and right down the middle. 34 to 20 against the Texans. And I'm on the wrong guy here. Immediately going over the middle to, is that Julio Jones? Second and two. Second down and two. What do we have here? It's going to be play action to the outside. Why can I never switch on to the player that I want? First and 10. Second down and two. It is going to be a run play. I'm caught up and it's going to be a Damian. What was that? Damian Pierce first down. Fourth down and five. 86. Julio Jones is covered. Dude, dude. What is my defense doing? I swear it's scripted to make your DB suck. What the hell is DJ Reed doing? Go back here. He's going over there. DJ Reed. You're clearly covering him. You have him. Cover him. Just follow him. Where are you going? Why do you leave this way? Oh my God. Second and 12. Running play action here. They completely bite on it. And Dean Towns is going to be wide open over the top. Dean Towns to Stalker to Dean Towns. Total dot there by Stalker. Second and 10. Running play action on the defense once again. And I can roll out. Where am I going to look? Offensive line, please block. Stalker with the video game speed. Doesn't matter. Stalker first and 10. Run and play action. They're not going to bite on this one. Oh, why? He's going to be wide open. Jerron Morton, third touchdown on the day. As we're blowing out the Texans here. Stalker has found his rhythm. Second and nine. On the wrong guy once again. Going right over the middle. There's a flag on the play. I'm assuming it's holding. Is it not? It is going to be roughing the passer. Sure. First and 10. I'm off sides with Ashley Miner. It's a free play for them. They get 10 yards anyway, so they're just going to decline it. First and 10. Let's see what we have here to the outside. Someone should be there in the flat, but nice tackle. Second and inches. Fourth and inches. I don't care if they get the first down. Just no touchdowns to the outside. Got to get that cut block. We'll cut tackle. First and goal. First end goal, of course, it's play action. They're not going to run it here with this much time left. And nice blown coverage once again. Jonathan Abram this time. Doesn't matter. The game is over. And that is going to be the game. We are now 2-2-1. Two, two and one. A nice flat 500 record for the Tokyo Dragons. Very good offensive game. Defense is still trash, allowing 34 points a game. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I run man, they blow the man coverage. I run zone, they don't play their zone. Without Deshaun Casey, our our defense is terrible. Like, our defense is genuinely terrible. We don't get pressure. Yeah, we, we don't get any type of pressure at all. And then our defense reaction time, they're all brain dead. They're so stupid. They're all so dumb. So we have to make it up for our offense. Clifton Stocker bought out. He really had a breakout game. I think everyone has to admit it. Three touchdowns, no interceptions, 336 yards, 131 pass ratings. This doesn't include his rushing yards and his rushing touchdowns, which he had, which he he didn't have a rushing touch. Actually, he, he did. He had a rushing touchdown. McQueen did not. 65 rushing yards, four total touchdowns, no turnovers for Clifton Stocker. McQueen, 5.2 per carry, 105 yards, but his rushing isn't the only thing important about him. He had 64 rushing yards. Wow. Jerron Morton McQueen and Dean Towns are the only guys to get the ball in their hands. There was no Jojo Butler. There's no Amari Cooper who has done nothing for us ever since we got Clifton Stalker. He's just not open all of a sudden. He's just not good for some reason. But Jerron Morton, three touchdowns is a huge game. And defensively, tackles for a loss, a bunch of ones. Sacks, one for Jonathan Abram by me. Zero interceptions, but... 
Very good game offensively. My defense, I'll never be able to fix how trash they are. It's just, like without Deshaun Casey, we're doing we're doing awful. We're doing awful, and it's just the way it is. Devin McQueen has start Ev. I want him to go. Power back is thirty eight. <laughs> We're going to go to elusive back here. I want to eventually make him a scheme fit. It's not going to make him a scheme fit here. 71 overall. He's going to break tackle, car uh, carrying a juke move and spin move. So I eventually want him to go to elusive back just for that uh, scheme fit. And he's getting very close to unlocking his dev, which is very nice. Two, two, and one. Let's see how we are. Ooh, trade offers for Teddy Snell. You guys are in for a treat. Monty Hooker. I wouldn't mind a second string strong safety with how bad Quinton Lake is. A third and a six. Zach Charbonnet. Don't need a running back. Jermaine Johnson is on the Saints. Trayvon Merrig was superstar dev. I would not mind. If the Raiders have an interest. I want to put them to a conference rival. Is anyone here a rival? No, actually the Seahawks. Seahawks have an interest in my boy Teddy Snell. This could be... This could be interesting. I want to trade him at the deadline, of course. Hopefully his weekly training will overall increase his XP, which will increase his overall, which will then increase his trade value. We're top of the division, two, two, and one. Very, very gritty division. Weekly awards, probably Jerron Morton. Clifton Stalker gets a weekly award of 236, three passing touchdowns. It got sacked once, 65 rushing yards, and a rushing touchdown. No turnovers for Clifton Stalker. Baller week for him. And that kind of seals the deal. Superstar Dev, player of the week, Clifton Stalker, looking real good. Seahawks want Teddy Snell, but would he start there is the question. He would be a 78 overall. Geno Smith is a 77. That's the big deal. That is the big, big deal. What are they willing to give up for Teddy Snell, though, is my question. Teddy Snell... I get no trade offers for the package. What are you talking about? I don't know how that works, but obviously this is not going to go through. You're just going to see how far it gets us. Obviously, this will not go through for Teddy Snell, but just want to see how far. And they don't have the money to do it. So let's, uh, let's remove this and let's see a player that we want from them potentially. K9, Jamal Adams, Tariq Woolen. I, I don't need more DBs whenever my DBs are healthy. JSN, Jordan Brooks, don't need technically. Charles Cross, maybe. Noah Fant, Chen Nuuso, Abraham Lucas. Abraham Lucas wouldn't be a bad long-term bet. Let's see how far this would get us. Obviously not very far. <laughs> let's, uh, let's remove one of these now. Let's see how far that would get us. Not far. Let's see how far this would get us. Not even a first round pick for Teddy Snell. Bit disappointing, but I'm sure we can get something later down the line. Just wanted to see how far it would go through. Abraham Lucas and maybe a few picks I would be cool with because we need a right tackle. Rob Havenstein is going to be here for a long course. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Make sure you like and or subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.